Hi all, as I can see, hello all you, all your conversation going on in the chat, chat box. So yeah, hi, I'm Eva and welcome to G-Lecta. In today's event, in today's this live lesson, we'll be learning English. Okay, as you can see, it's already on the presentation on the slide. Okay, yeah, finally, yes, it started. Yes, so I can see. Hi to all. Okay, so in today's lesson, we'll be working on important 11 plus events, uh, topics, and easy ideas to do it, okay, and learning the techniques also. Now, the topics for today's would be adjectives, modal verbs, and compound words. Now, as a person, a student who is attending this live lesson for the very first time, I would like to tell you what is Delecta. It's an online platform that gives you opportunity to crack all of your exams and the following exams that we, you know, work for. It's for KS 1, 2, 3 and GCSE A level and the birds are there. Hi, Aradha. Hello, Mothership. It's Abdul. Yeah, I know that one is there and... Um, um, Ankisa is the hi to all. Okay, so now students, we're gonna start our lesson with a very quick um, exercise, kind of a warm up. You need to work on the spelling test, right? So as I can, you can see, you need to pick the correct. Yes, yes, I know that it's Abdul. You need to pick the correct option as it's written. So there are different spellings given, and you need to pick which is the correct spelling. Okay, so I really want to receive the answers in the chat box, which is the correct spelling, yes, if you really know. And students, I have also pinned the milk test on the chat box, uh, in, in, in the comment section, right? Perfect, so you can easily, uh, you can also, you know, the link is there. And uh, you can also join the Telegram group of ours where we'll be sending all important resources, questions and PDFs, so you can join us there. Right? Okay, now I have started receiving the option. Yes, everyone is saying option A. Okay, not everyone. Yes, mothership and around there saying option A. Yes, very good. It is option A. Amazing, yes. The right answer is option A, foreign. So, it's we need to work on it. Perfect. Now, moving to the next. Okay, around there, the second is D. Okay, the first one is D. So now, it's, it's possible it's F-O-R-E-I-G-N, foreign, right? This is how we need to write foreign, right? Now, moving to the next one. Hello, Fizikhan, how are you? Good? Okay. Um, yes, everyone is answering. Hello, Rahul. Okay, option A, right. Now, moving to the next one. Which option is correct here? There are four. You need to pick one, um, you know, correct spelling for passenger. As I can see, okay, now I have started receiving the answers from everyone. Very good. Motor vlogger, Hassan. Option A, you're saying. Mothership option B. Aradha is option, saying is option A. Mm -hmm. As I can see it. Hi, to Toys Are Life is saying option B. Okay, Fiza Khan is saying option B. Now let me tell you, the right option is, the right option for this is option B. Very good students. Yes, the right answer is option B. Perfect. Now, these are the two important spelling tests that we have done. You need to, you need to learn, right? Um, you need to practice important and tough spelling words on the daily basis in 11 plus especially for English because you need to keep working on your vocabulary so this is a kind of you know a lifetime advice <laughs> okay if you're preparing for 11 plus do your practice with vocabulary okay yes um, hello hello Shams how are you good okay now we need to work on adjectives so um, th these are the words as you can see hesitant anxious eager, joyful, right? These are some state. Okay, when I'm saying that, um, Fiza was quite joyful, right? So I'm saying joyful. So joyful is kind of a quality of someone, like right? someone is very happy, okay? Someone enjoys the stuff, so like being happy. So it's a kind of, you know, um, someone's quality, right? So these are adjectives. When you describe something, someone, it's no, the words are known as adjectives. Thank you so much. 
Okay, now if we if we if we'll be uh, we'll, if we'll be talking about adjectives, so you can say that funny, serious. I have read a serious news. Now, when I'm saying that, I have read a serious news. So I am exp I am explaining the you know the seriousness of something. Okay, so this is how adds something like extra information to something, right? So that would be adjective. Now, adjective, adjective is a part of speech used in a sentence to define the qualities of a noun or an adjective, right? Adjective is a part of speech, so as a student, if you do remember, in the last lesson, we have done parts of speech, if you do remember that, okay? So who remembers that? Just put in chat if you do remember. Okay, so now, yeah, okay, so that's why I'm f I was thinking that why, you know, <laughs> it's not popping up in the comment section. Tell me, do you remember the parts of speech? How many, how many parts of speech are there? How many parts of speech are there? Quickly tell me. How many parts of speech are there in a sentence? If you, if you do, if you do the sentence. Toys Our Life is saying yes. Okay, it means you do remember. That's perfect. Very good, Rather, You do remember this. Yes, you need to remember. You know, whatever we have done in the last lesson. Okay, I know that it's been a very long time that you, you haven't done English. But now you should always try to recall and, you know, make the revision chunks whenever you are studying. Right? So, yes, Shazakhan, very good. Tell me. Um, tell me how many, t how many parts are there, everyone? I haven't received any answer for that. How many parts are there? Okay, um, there are eight, okay, eight parts of speech and adjective was one of them, okay. Now, there are total seven types of adjectives um, because in, uh, if, you, if you're learning this, you need to do in detail how many types of adjectives are there. Okay, so there are total, um, yes, okay. There are total seven types of adjectives. Number one is demonstrative adjective, distributive adjective, interrogative adjectives, possessive, quality, number, and quantity. Toys and life say four. Oh, very good, yes. T tossin, it's not tossin razak. It's not ten, it's eight, okay? Everyone very good for huh? Yes, it is eight. Moto blogger Hasant. Okay, so I will call you Hasant, right? So Hassan, yes, there are eight types around there. The seven types of adjectives are there, but eight types of, there are eight parts of speech, okay? Now I hope that you have quickly written this down in a notebook. Moving to the very first adjective. Students, you know, writing the adjectives in this way will help you that, you know, you can quickly, you know, learn the types, all the seven types, because sometimes I feel that it's quite not possible for the students to recall all the types of adjectives, right? So I'd like to tell you a very easy way. Are you excited? Are you do you want to know what's the easiest way to learn, to recall all of the seven types just once? No, it's, it's not it's seven, it's eight. Yes, it's eight. Okay, now, but there are these main seven types, okay? So um, I would like to make a kind of mnemonic for that. Yes. So it's like dip, Q, and Q. This is the easiest way to learn these adjectives. These mnemonics help you with that. There are two Ds, just remember that. Not one D in all the types of adjectives, but there are two Ds. Dip, dip, like to dip something. Dip. Q and Q. So dip, demonstrative, distributive. I stands for interrogative. P stands for possessive. Q stands for quantity. P sta um, N stands for number. And again, next Q stands for quality. Dip, Q and Q. This is how. Yes, very good, Radha. This is the easiest way to learn all the seven types of adjectives. Now, I like to take you to the types, different types of adjectives are there. So, um, uh, if you remember, like, uh, as I, like my old student, like my whole team loves pizza, right? My team loves pizza because I am the leader of my team, like I'm the teacher. And my old students somehow love pizza. That's amazing, right? So, <laughs> yes. So, when you point out to a specific thing, that will turn into demonstrative adjective. Okay, this, that. That pizza was delicious. 
Next is distributive adjective. Here, you need to say every day is a new day. He took neither dress. Each children, it means it is talking about each and everything. Okay, when I'm saying that every day is a new day. Or when I'm saying he took neither dress. So, distributive adjectives are like that. Each, either, every, neither. Next. Students, I have seen that uh, uh, you haven't liked the video. Quickly like it, okay, if you haven't liked it down. Okay, now um, I have also put in chat for enroll. If you really want to enroll with us, you can quickly, you know, um, you can call the call uh, like call on the numbers that are already in the chat box. Okay. Next is interrogative adjectives. You know, students, these are very important and easy to learn. Interrogative means doing interrogation, putting questions. Okay. Um, okay, Abdul, I know that if you have. <laughs> You already have enrolled with us. <laughs> okay. Interrogator adjective. It's like um, to ask questions. Whose book are you reading? Which car are you driving? What color is, what color is the flower? So when you are using like seven, like five, five WH, right? WH. So interrogation will refers to it. Now, um, next is possessive adjectives. What are possessive adjectives? It shows the possession or belonging, right? My project is still incomplete. Yes, um, Abdul, you're saying that um, five WH, like which, when, whom, what, where. So these are, you know, these are WH family, right? <laughs> Fiza Khan is saying that, hmm, the pizza looked mouth-watering. Yes, it does does look like that. That's why, you know, I haven't replaced that GIA because I personally love it. Yummy. Okay. <laughs> now, it shows the possession or the belonging. It answers the question, whose? My project is still incomplete. Their flight has been delayed. Show me your binoculars. So students, it's like that. Now, next is adjectives of quality. It tells you about specific qualities, okay, that day was too hot, okay, summers are too hot to handle. So these are adjectives of quality when you tell about the qualities, okay. Next is, um, like Alex is a good boy and he has a black dog. So good boy, black dog, these are some examples of adjectives of quality. I hope students that you are also writing it down in your notebook which is very important. Next is adjectives of number. Here we need to work on numbers like one, two, three, four and also the positions, the order, okay, once, twice, um, like how many times it does happen or first rank one, like first, second, third, the ranking system. So whenever we need to depict the ranking system, or we need to count things like one, two, three, four, five, six, blah, 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 like that. So when we need, then we need to use the adjectives of number, okay? Now, just like a camel has two humps, I have two pencils. The third month is March. So you can see in this sentence, it shows the position, first, second, third, sixth, Eighth. So these are to show the ranking, the positions. We need to use adjectives of number. Next is adjectives of quantity. Okay. Um, quantity, it shows like how much we have something. Um, there is much water, right? Enough water. I have, I have eaten enough of food. Okay. I am done. I, I, am, I am done with this. Or when I'm saying that there is enough work to do. So it shows the quantity, okay, like something, the quantity, the wind, wind cannot count it, so it's like that, okay. Okay, next is questions. Now we need to quickly solve it. Um, I, I'm going to show you these three words, big, tired, and hard. Now you need to put in chat what, what like are the best adjectives that you can use, okay, for big. Okay, quickly tell me how you can replace the word big. Tell me quickly. How you can replace the word big with the better adjective? 
Yes? Anyone? I really want to answer in the chat box. I really want to know at least two different words that you can, better words that you can replace big with. Large. It's, it's, it's um, um, yeah, gigantic. You can also say huge, massive, enormous, giant. Yes, very good. Like something which is great, enormous, yes. Same for tired. Can anyone tell me the better words for tired? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Exhausted. Yes. Toys are life saying exhausted. Yes, it is. And anyone? Okay. Colossal. Yes, colossal. Very good. Colossal. Okay, that was for big, right? Okay. Towering for big. Okay, you're saying this for big. I'm asking for um, exhausted, right? Hi, Eva. Hi, Eva, ma'am. Okay, hello. <laughs> yes. Quickly tell me what's for tired. Which, which better word you can use for the tired? Yes, very good, Abdul. Fatigued. Very good. Gargantuan. Yes, gargantuan word you can use for big. Yes, it is. Okay, tired, exhausted, weary. Okay, students, quickly write this down in your notebook. The better word that you can use for tired is weary. Okay, the new words. See, rough. Okay, that was for hard. So, for hard, what you can use? Quickly tell me in the chat box. I'm waiting. Okay, that's that's for what like something which is hard, or um, you need to read this according to the sen according to the passage given above. Okay, you need to refer that. L let me read that for you. Taking a big gulp of air, uh, the tired climber dug his eyes to into the hard surface of the mountain. His hands and feet were cold, and he wasn't sure if he was going to able to make it. Would this dangerous cliff face really defeat him? So this is how you need to, very good, rough, very good, you can say solid, yes, solid. Okay, Tosin is saying that drowsy, drowsy could be for tired. Yes, everyone, rigid, very good, Tosin, Raza, I would like to clap for you, amazing. Very good, Toys Are Life is saying rocky, yes, rocky, according to the, according to the reference, yes. So the right answer is something like solid. Okay. Now, you need to quickly tell me in the chat box, what are the adjectives in the first sentence? Sharon will clean her messy room today. If you see that, Sharon will clean her messy room today. Now, you need to tell me which word in the sentence is an adjective and also which type of adjectives because students you have learned the seven types and can anyone quickly write in the chat box the mnemonic that I have told you for adjectives anyone can you do that can you write down the mnemonic in the chat box about about the adjectives yes I have told you okay toys and love is saying possessive you also need to write the word the word which this particular word is an adjective and which type of adjective in number one okay yes okay I rather saying that messy okay messy <laughs> messy 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 okay I think you all love football then if you're talking about messy okay mothership is saying dip only dip I have told you I have I have told you for all the seven types so you are left with three of them now because this is all the four that I have told you. Okay, toys are left saying then quantity. Hmm. Second is French. Students, do you write the word? But also write down the type because in your exam, question can be asked. The word, tell the type. Word, tell the type. It's like that. Okay. So now Sharon will clean her messy room. So her messy room her is a kind of possessive massive is also an adjective adjective of quality okay it's not just right one word is the adjective there it could be more than two adjectives as well in the next is my sister brought me some french pastries some is a kind of quantity right adjective of quantity next is the miser lost all his money his money is again possessive and all again is the quality yes very good sufficient is number very good toys are life 
Mothership is saying that Messi is the quality. Toys are life saying, uh, yeah, you're telling me the mnemonic dip Q and Q. Yes, very good. Okay, number four. Can you tell me in number four which word is is an adjective and which type of adjective? Every anyone? Toys are life saying that my is possessive. Yes, my is possessive. My sister. So my is a possessive adjective. Okay, some quality French quality. Some is a quality French is also quality. Yes, very good because it tells you the specific type of something. Yes, amazing. Now, yeah, okay. Some quantity French. Yeah, I have I have received it. Very good. Some is a quantity. Now, um, number four. Can anyone tell me which word is a uh, is an adjective and which type of adjective? It's sufficient. Very good. Yes, Vizal Khan, give me five, the virtual five. Abdul, you also give me the virtual five. Yes, everyone, yes, sufficient. Sufficient, which type of adjective is this? Sufficient is there, but which type of adjective? Sufficient is a number. But you cannot count it. Students, number, we need to count number. Adjective of numbers are particularly for the countable nouns. And quality and quantity it's for uncountable nouns always remember that sufficient quantity very good Abdul this is the right answer now toys are life sufficient is not a number sufficient is a quantity okay did you got that did you understand it very good okay it's quantity yes Khan. very good now it's time to do riddle riddle are you ready for the riddle okay what you can hold in your left hand but not in your right hand the question is this what you can hold in your left hand but not in your right hand let's quickly see yes um, mothership is saying quantity 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 and quantity i know that good very good yes everyone what you think what should be the answer for this mothership is saying um tony is that sufficient yes T tossin I apologize. Tossin. Yes, so. Okay. What do you think, Tossin? Everyone, quickly tell me. Pencil? See. Pencil or pen? Abdul, this is my right hand and this is my left hand. I can easily hold in both. I can, I can hold the pencil in both hands. <laughs> Your right hand. I can hold my right hand with my left hand. See, I did. I have. Ho see. Oh, okay, okay. You're 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 referring to that. What you can hold in your left hand, but not in your right hand. Your right hand. Yeah, everyone. Now you've got some brains. Yes. <laughs> yes, your right elbow or your right hand. Yes, this is the right answer. Very good, students. You have cracked this riddle. Thumbs up. Okay. Now moving to the next one okay if you haven't joined us on the telegram and if you haven't subscribed the channel quickly subscribe to it okay and follow us on Instagram and Facebook if you do use okay very good now the next topic that we need to work on it modal verbs okay an auxiliary verb that expresses necessity or possibility like something will happen the possibilities there are the necessities there so we need to quickly talk about the modal verbs left-handed doctor you are right okay your right hand yes very good yes your right hand okay now quickly write down in a notebook what is the what is a modal verb when we need to use it we need to use to express the necessity or possibility today we'll be learning about the different types of modal verbs right so okay there are possible there are some important modal verbs that you need to know um, uh, yeah you need to do that okay Fizal Khan is saying that I already have sessions with you okay Fizal Khan could you tell me your name is that your real name Fizal Khan um, so that I, ca I, I know my students by their original names so yeah okay next is the words such as must might can should may will must would these are some important modal verbs and now I'll be teaching you how you can use these different modal verbs in a different way 
and then you'll be definitely learning it and enjoying it, right? Can, would, should, could, yes? Can anyone tell me other? The, apart from these modal verbs that I have showed you on the slide. Apart from this, can you tell me other modal verbs? Can you do that, please? Okay, must, will, shall, can, might. Can anyone tell me the past form of can? What is the past form of can? Anyone? What is the past form of can? It's very easy. I'm fine. Thank you. How about you? Okay. Tell me quickly. What is the past form of can? Anyone? No one knows. What is the past form of can? Okay. But what is the past form of will? What is the past form of shall? Okay. Very good, Aradhya. Very good, um, Abdul. Yes. The past form of can is could. Can anyone tell me the past form of will? Yes. Okay. Toys are laughing, saying good. Um, could. Very good, Fiza Khan. Okay. Manaza is also saying could. Very good. What is the what is what is the past form of will? Anyone? Will. And yes, and can anyone tell me the, what is the difference between the uses of can and could as well? Because you, you should know how we can use it differently and separately. Would, 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 would. Yes, it's would. Okay, what is very good? Very good. Toys are life, is a Khan. Yes, it is. A rather saying what, very good. What is for shall? Can anyone tell me? What is the past form of shall? And it's already mentioned in the slide, if you can see that. Can, would, should. Very good. Very good, Abdul. Very good. Yes, very good, Tosin. It is should. I would like to clap for you. Yes. You know what the secret is? These are the modal verbs. These are also modal verbs. But in today's lesson, I'll be teaching you how you can use these modal verbs in a different way and these modals in the different way. Okay, so we need to do it. Okay, so let's quickly talk about very good mothership. Can means definite and could means might. Okay, can also shows the present ability to do something. I can do this. Could we need to use for the past ability. You could do this. So it's like that. Okay, very good. So we'll be learning the differences. The first one is will. We all know that will be simply used in future tense for like future future tense like Joe will travel to the next week. Simple. Uh, travel New York to the next week. Next is might. Might is for small probability. You know there are three things like three family may, might and must. Okay. Re try to quickly recall this down in, in your notebook. There are ma um, may might must whenever it say may it's about 80 percent of possibility when it says might it's about 10 percent possibility and when it says about must it's about 99.9 percent .9 possibility okay so you know we, we we need to use may might and must for the possibilities so it's 99.9 .9 percent students Recall these percentages. I'll be asking you, like, I'll be asking you, right? Okay, around there saying shirt. Yeah, okay, come on. Quickly, quick, quickly recall these percentages. May for 80% possibility, might for 10%, and must for 99.9%. .9%. Like, you must have done this, right? So I am 99.9% .9 sure that you must have done this. Next, <laughs> okay, mothership, 99.9999999. And, okay. Next is should. Should it's for rec for recommendation. If I am recommending someone, you should watch this series. Okay, you should watch uh, Netflix. Okay, well, after your exams. Okay, uh, I, I think you have done with your exams. <laughs> okay, next is like ought to. Ought to is for formal recommendation when you are telling someone formally, right? So. I might move to Canada someday. So might means only small, small percentage, like hmm, 9 to 10 percent. I'm not very sure that I'll be moving. I'm not sure about it, but I will move. Next is recommendation. You should go to the doctor. Formal recommendation, we ought to know about the first aids. Like when, you are, when you're talking to someone formally, 
formal interaction when you when you talk to the people who are on the official level like to your teachers to your um, to doctors or to your headmistress so when you talk about these people to the prime minister if you do talk about so these are the verbs for for these are the formal interactions informal means if you're talking to your parents if you're talking to your best friends if you're talking to your classmates these are informal conversations so or to you need to use for formal recommendation and should you need to just simply use for the informal like you should watch Netflix you cannot te you cannot tell your teacher you should watch um, Netflix or you cannot you cannot tell uh, you know tell your principal to do the same right so quickly write down in your notebook the concepts because students you have to be very very clear with the concepts right Khan, very good you have put an example students I really love those students who just put extra effort like they give me examples and you know example gives so much of clarifications very good for so I might give you a chocolate yes you can also make make different examples that are very important next is okay students now I have a question for you my son um, blank be home by now where can he be now quickly tell me the right answer for this this could be option a b c d I'm very excited to know okay because I have um, because this is based on you know the previous slide that I have taught you so you need to you need to know all the concepts right guzzle can well okay dab dab okay tell me quickly what should be the answer okay my son blank be home by now where can he be option a option one have to option b would <laughs> option c should do and option d could toss in what's for really really is not in the option like really is not among the options <laughs> perfect game in saying should aradha should hmm toss in really <laughs> tell me what should be the right answer toss in Fiza Khan should. What, 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 why you have put the question mark? Aren't you sure about it? Be sure about it, right? Okay, very good students. The right answer is option C. Should. My son should be home by now. Like, it's, like that's what I recommend. Okay, it's a part of recommendation, but not so formal recommendation. It's about informal recommendation, right? Have to, would could but the right answer is should okay the formal recommendation moving to the next one I think your thumb is broken you blank go to emergency room now quickly pick the very right answer for this um, yes you should say the answer is should yes the right, right yes the right answer is should C option C okay toss in very good C now quickly tell me yes Gazan Kalvin okay Kanwal you're saying that I'm sure it's C yes it is Oh, I have revealed the answer and the right answer is option C ought to you. okay why because it's ought to because you can see again it's a formal recommendation okay so I think your thumb is broken you ought to go to emergency room and ought to it's like it also tells you the moral responsibility students it shows morality like moral responsibility okay next is next part is may may we use for permission may I come in may I go there may I remove may, may I remove the ink may it's like good go, good probability may God bless you okay so like may God bless you or, or the good probability like that can anyone tell me what is the probability for May not the month May it's it's one out of twelve if we to talk about maths our twelve months May but not that probability the percentage can anyone tell me what was the percentage for May? Anyone? Yes, I have told you the three percentages for May, might, must. It's C, can't you see? <laughs> I can see, Fizza. Toys are life, C. Um, tell me quickly what was the percentage? Yes, the percentage for May was very good students. I have started receiving the answer, and Abdul was the first one to answer this. It's 80%. Yes, it's 80%. Yes. May, 
like um, uh, we may visit Mexico this summer. When I'm saying that we might visit, we may visit. So probability more, you know, when about about whom I'm concerned, more I'm confirmed about is may, not might, because it has less percentage things to be done. Next is must. It means responsibility. Everyone must pay taxes. So we, we use must for to show the responsibility. This is your responsibility. You must go there. You must do this. And must is assumption. That is for like 99.999 bar. Okay, something which is never ending. Right, so assumption, right? Something which you assume. So I hope that you can... Now, uh, um, like I'm thinking that you are getting this quickly. Yes, very good. Now I have received the answer. Every everyone saying, eighty percent. Yes. What is the what is the possibility of must? Ninety nine point nine percent. And for might is ten percent. Okay, students. Now I can feel the heat. We blank be near the fire. Hmm. Now you need to quickly tell me what is the answer option. It could be A can be would C must D have to quickly tell me the right answer I'm waiting for this you must go to school <laughs> very good perfect gaming yes we must do homework very good Abdul I appreciate it that you have good examples this time thank you so much yes um, quickly tell me the answer which answer is correct anyone um, mothership is saying must okay toys are life is saying must Hmm, Fizal Khan, yeah, you must. Smart. Ah, you're very smart, Fizal Khan. Okay, Arada is saying C again. Um, uh, yes, Moto blogger Hasanta is saying C. Hmm. Very good, students. Congratulations. Collectively, you all responded the right answer. It is option C. We must be near the fire. Okay, because C. I can feel the heat. We must be near the fire. It means I am 100% sure that I am near the fire. So, see, with the help of the percentage, you got the right answer. Amazing. Very good, students. Now, moving to this part. Shall. We use shall for educated expression offer. Excuse me. I shall go now. Shall I clean it? So, we need to use, like, to take, you know, the educated and, you know, um, more like formal permissions right excuse me I shall go now and also like I shall go now shall I shall I clean it next shall is like contractual obligation the company shall pay like when when you have sh when, when you have done a contract you shall the company shall pay on January 1st okay so it's like something which is you know legal like for legally process legal process we use shall so there are two ways of using shall number one is Educated expression offer. Number two is contractual obligation. When you do, when you make contracts, that includes the legal premises, right? The third one is could. Unreal ability. Could like, I could go if I had time. Something that I haven't done, but I'm saying that I could go there. Okay, if if I had a car. Okay, so it's like that. Something which hasn't happened, but I am still talking about it so I have to use could for that okay very good students I shall go to school very good toys are life thank you okay next is uh, one could is for unreal ability next could is for past ability she could play the piano I could have eaten that pizza okay like that you shall hand in your homework perfect gaming yes you are perfect gaming you're perfect okay yes this is like that now again the next question time is this if you are interested in losing weight you blank try this diet so these are again four options you should also love your body always love your body okay you should be healthy okay okay next is option a number one is could be must not it's contracted for mustn't but it's it's contracted form it's not it's much not don't have to had to now quickly tell me profit gaming yeah yeah you are okay physical is saying yes okay mothership could <laughs> now quickly tell me the right answer for this which answer is that 
Okay. Everyone is saying that option A. I would like to clap for that. Very good. This is how um, you, are, you are collectively correct. The right answer is option A. Why am I writing option A? Come on. Could. Okay. So the right answer is could. C-O-U-L-D. Could. Right. Perfect. Moving to the next. Can. Presentability. I can. I can teach you this concept. Yes. Next, can. Permission. Can I have a candy? Can I have water? Can, 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 I, can I go to that place? So these are for permission, right? Like to enjoy. Like to, like, I, would, I like to watch TV. Like something that you enjoy. That's your hobby. Can any, um, you, can, you guys tell me your hobbies. What's, what's your hobby? Anyone? Like my hobby is um, dancing, right? I like to dance. Okay, I have uh, A, A, A. Everyone is, you know, just showering the A. Okay, if you say you will get an A plus. Plus, 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 plus. <laughs> okay. Can I go home? Yes, Toys Are Life, yes. Can you like this video? <laughs> yes, can you? Okay, Perfect Gaming saying that. Can you like this video? Yes, can you, please? <laughs> okay, perfect. Now like to enjoy this is the best way to promote yeah cool I, I i i should learn this from you perfect gaming okay next me uh, mothership is saying reading um yes swimming oh okay so now you're telling me hobbies right okay abdul's hobby is reading perfect gaming is swimming wow toys are toys are life is saying playing okay cycling around around it yes around there mine is also cycling as well i love cycling Motor vlogger has been saying riding bikes. Yeah, me too, riding bikes. And um, okay, Jagda R is saying that I like to sing. Dance. Yes, okay, I like to dance. Um, okay, would you, would, um, I would like to say hello if, yes, you can. I may. So yeah, this is, this is, this is one of the, you know, Modals, verbs you need to use. Okay, gaming. Perfect gaming is saying gaming. Yeah, very good. Interesting hobbies you do have. Okay, um, next is want to. Want to desire. Like, I want to be this, 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 this. I want to go there. I want to eat this. Now, want to represents the desires. Like, I want to go there. I want to buy that dress. I want to eat that pizza. Like that. So, now, I would like to quickly show you the answers. You have never heard of the Brint, Brintney Spares um, question mark. You blank be serious. Now quickly tell me the right answer. I'm waiting in the chat box. Toys are life gaming. Okay, you guys love Tosin Razak is saying gaming. Oh, good. Very good, Tosin. Gamings. Now quickly tell me the right answer for this one. You have never heard of Brintney Spares question mark. You blank be serious. So option B, must, had to, can't shouldn't i want to be a good student abdul is saying you are a good student abdul no doubts okay okay now i have started receiving the answers from everyone twice the is saying c um okay okay around this thing c perfect gaming is saying a let me tell you students the right answer is option A must. This is the right answer. Very good. Toys. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Gazel Khan will say no. Very good. Fizal Khan. The right answer is option A. Toys are life is saying option A. The the right answer is must. You must be serious. Okay. Now moving to the next. Light. Okay. Now it's again the riddle time. We need to do some riddle riddle. Okay. Light as a feather, yet the strongest person can't hold me for five minutes. What am I? Light as a feather, simile is there, yet the strongest person can't hold me for five minutes. What am I? Yeah, miss, I got it right. Yes, Mr. Khan, you got it right. I said, hey, yes, I know that. Quickly tell me the answer for this. Hmm, I'm waiting. What, which thing, which is even light as a feather 
but no one can hold it. Okay? Remember, perfect giving is saying oxygen, oxygen. She had person, um, okay, hold me for five minutes. See, person can hold it, not but not more than five minutes. So, perfect gaming, yep, perfect gaming is saying air, toes are, toys are life is saying oxygen, mothership is saying breaths, <laughs> oxygen, toys are life is saying <laughs> oxygen, yeah, okay, so the right answer is your breaths, you cannot hold it just for even more, not like you know, more than five minutes, <sighs> okay, but you need to do practice for that if you really want to hold your breaths for a longer time, not just for five minutes, like for a beautiful span, you need to practice your, you know, breathing exercises, there are so many. Okay, students, now we, know quick, we need to quickly talk about some contractions, okay? You need to use these, all of the contractions in your exams, and um, this is how you can beautifully practice it. Can, you can simply write can not, simply can't, okay? So, these are important extractions, let me just, you know, highlight that for you can't couldn't you can write couldn't do not don't have not haven't he is his her is hers I am I am I have this is how you need to contract it I will must see these are some important contractions you can quickly look into it if you really want to you, you can quickly take the screen share of these important contractions even you can do that Okay, now I really want you to quickly tell me the mnemonic that I have told you in the beginning of the lesson. Let's see who remember it for a long time. Can anyone tell me the mnemonic that I have told you to, to learn the adjectives? Anyone? <laughs> okay, mothership is saying, um, students, yes, it's not, won't. Yes, very good students. These are important contractions you, 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 can, you can use because, you know, these contractions you need to learn because if you read texts, if you read things, so that will be helpful there for you, right? So, he is, yes, very good. I can see so many students, they are putting contractions in the chat. Okay, now, quickly tell me what was the mnemonic, students? I think you, okay, very good, Aradha. I would like, Aradha is the one who answered me the first one, like, you know, she's the first one to answer me. It's dip, Q, and Q. Can anyone, t can anyone quickly, um, yes. Okay, you cannot say right, so dip, Q, and Q. D stands for, okay, here I have to write, okay, just a moment. Yeah, dip, Q, and Q. D stands for demonstrative. Next E stands for distributive, I stands for interrogative, P stands for possessive, Q stands for questions, N stands for number, and again, ne Q, next, uh, Q, next Q stands for quality. Very good, perfect gaming, or rather, very good. Yes, these are the contractions, right? So, um, these are the modal verbs that we have also learned today, and uh, the riddles we have done, if we talk about the adjectives, how many types of adjectives are there? Again, tell me, can anyone tell me how many types of adjectives are there? Yes? Tosin Razak, what? No. <laughs> D stands for? Don't know. The students, okay, you can make these fun mnemonics for you. Yes, you can do that because um, that will help you to learn the, you know, very broad concepts for your exams, right? D stands for don't know. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now, can anyone tell me the one, uh, one example for demonstrative adjective? Demonstrative adjectives. Very good. Anyone? Can anyone tell me the demonstrative adjectives? One example for it. Um, is saying eight. Someone is saying seven. Yes, seven to eight adjectives. The main adjectives are seven. Okay. Yes. Anyone? One example for demonstrative adjectives. Miss, I said eight first. Okay, Fiza Khan. Yeah, I know that. Demonstrative adjectives are these, those, 
that such such is also a demonstrative adjective okay yes very good want 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 is not a type of an adjective um, like demonstrative one yes can anyone tell me that what are distributive adjectives can can anyone tell me the examples of distributive adjectives if you know that quickly put in chat and students you can also put down the topics that you really want me to bring in the next live if you'll be doing so in for English in the next live I'll be catching and you know focusing on those important topics that you struggle with okay this that those these very good Abdul very good perfect gaming those now quickly tell me the adjectives for examples for distributive adjectives each neither everyone no one every no one exactly very good these are some examples of dim, um, distributive adjectives yes okay can anyone tell me um, the examples for possessive adjectives any guesses for possessive adjectives yes possessive adjectives I'm waiting for very good toys are life it's each other these are the examples toys are life of saying every yes you can put you can put it into now I really want you to tell me what what are the possibilities for must may and might what are the possibilities for must may and might the percentages must may and might any guesses his ours yes these are examples of possessive adjectives theirs mines yes very good Hassan yes quickly tell me the percentages I said he first um, he is not a kind of an adjective he is a pronoun right okay we are talking about adjectives so possessive adjective is not he is his his pen very good very good mothership is saying 80 percent must is 99.99999 da, 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 so many might is 10 percent amazing students so this is all we have you know practiced in today's lesson okay um we have learned modal verbs we have learned contractions so now i really want you to revise whatever we have done i hope that you have written that down in your notebook so um, quickly i like to tell you how i'll be working with you um, I'll be giving you the notes and mind maps for every topic that I teach, right? And the notes um, and the homework will be, um, you know, uploaded on Google Classroom. Revision and doubt lessons will be given. And we are also, you know, we are quickly now, you know, enrolling, like, you know, there are fresh batches. You know, we have just started for the next session. So I really want you to quickly enroll with us. As you can see, the numbers are, you know, you can contact us there the numbers are there and the website is already there so you can quickly contact us so this is all from my side i hope that you have enjoyed it a lot and you have learned things right and as well i have done right so this is all from my side i hope to see you in my next live event thank you bye bye take care